poultry dish, and a variety of garnish. Adjectives. As a result of this lesson, you will be able to prepare the ingredients for a poultry dish. Make a fine cohesion of various garnishes for a poultry dish. Provide a matching sauce for a poultry dish. Check if required appliances and ingredients are ready. If any types of equipments and ingredients are missing or different, you may ask the organizers for a change or supplement. Today, we will prepare a chicken dish with a variety of garnish. After checking the ingredients, clean them and arrange them on a table. Now, let's work on the chicken, today's main ingredient. The following is about how to prepare a chicken. First, puncture the joint next to the wings to sever the wings. Second, put a knife into the middle of the ribs. Third, put a knife deep enough to the leg joints to detach the spine. Fourth, puncture right next to the leg bones and twist the joint to remove the bone. Fifth, hold on to the wing bone and remove the remaining bones. Sixth, separate the skin from the flesh. Once the chicken is prepared, wash the cutting board and the chicken. Now, let's prepare the vegetables. Cut onions and carrots, and slice and dice the celery separately. Cut white mushrooms and the edge of the green beans. Carve the carrot in olivettes. The ingredients are prepared. Now, let's start from the carrot puree. Stir fry the carrot and onion with butter. Stir fry once again with olive oil. Next, put some water and boil it. It is important to cook it enough. While the puree is boiling, start working on the stock for the lauda sauce. Poach the chicken in the water once again. Once the chicken is mildly cooked, remove the water. Wash it with cold water and refill the water in the pot to boil again. Add prepared onions, white mushrooms, carrots, salads, bay leaves to boil with the chicken. Push the carrot all event. Now, work on the dough for turmeric lay steel. Blend the flour, turmeric powder, white egg, and sugar powder. The purpose of the turmeric powder is to match the color of lay steel with the chicken. There are various ways to color the dish, but you can choose a uniform color of concept in the competitions. Put the chicken in the blender to make a chicken roulette. Add salt and pepper. Separate the yolk and white egg. And put the stirred white egg in a blender. Now, mince the mixture with whipped cream and turmeric powder. Put the prepared chicken mousse in a piping bag. Check if the vegetables for carrot puree is properly cooked. Move the cooked vegetables to a container and blend them in a blender with whipped cream and salt. Move the minced carrot puree back to the pot to boil. Push the green beans for garnish and wash them with cold water. Stir the boiling carrot puree and filter it in a chinois. Again, the reason why we have carrot puree is to match the color concepts of the turmeric glaze tool. Let's work on the polenta cake. Melt butter with wick fire and stir fry the polenta on it. Once the polenta starts shining, boil it with the milk and salt it. Stir it well to make a dough. Consistency is important in the dough. 
so, it shouldn't be too watery, nor too solid. Wrap the dough in film paper and spread it with a roller. Then, store it cool in the fridge. Later, bring the dough to cut it. Feature the boiled filati sauce in a sieve, leaving only the stock. Melt it with butter and make a roux with flour. Add the prepared onions, celery, carrots, and white mushrooms to stir fry with. Add the extracted stock and boil them together. While the stock is boiling, work on the chicken roulette again. Spread the chicken skin and spread flour on it. Then, put a chicken breast on top and season it with salt and pepper. Pipe the chicken mousse. Put another chicken breast on top and season it again with salt and pepper. While maintaining the shape, roll them. Wrap the shaped chicken roulette tightly with the wrapper. Poke a hole and wrap it once again. To finish, tie each end of the wrap and start poaching. Poaching is important because it'll make the chicken more tender. Leave the chicken roulette to poach. Put some milk in the boiling filati sauce. Stir and add bay leaves to let them boil. Spread the turmeric glazed tulle on the malt. And bake them in the oven at 150 degrees for 5 minutes. Remember to take care of other dishes being cooked as well. Stir the velouta sauce from time to time. Tear the thyme for a decoration. And cut the blanched green beans too. Stir fry the carrot olivette with butter and salt. The chicken roulette, our main dish today, is a hot dish. So, the garnishing vegetables should be hot as well. Stir thyme, green beans, and fried carrot olivette separately. Once the garnishing vegetables are prepared, add salt and pepper to velouta sauce to boil it a little further. Filter it in a chinois, leaving the liquid only. Now, let's work on the garnish again. Melt the butter on a pan and stir fry green beans, salt and pepper on it. Stir the baked green beans separately. The turmeric glazed tulle dough must be fully baked by now. Remove the dough from the oven and separate the tulle from paper foil. Scoop out the poaching chicken roulette and remove the wrap. Dry the chicken roulette with kitchen towels. Apply enough pressure to remove water. Once the roulette is dried, oil a pan with olive oil and start searing the roulette. Well-cooked chicken roulette will enhance the flavor of the main dish. Once the searing is done, bake it once again in the oven. Now, it's time to plate. Cut the baked chicken roulette. Put the carrot puree on the plate. And then the polenta cake. Warm the polenta cake with oven steam. For the garnish, put the fried carrots and green beans. Plate the chicken roulette aesthetically and decorate with thyme. Put the turmeric glazed tulle on the polenta cake. And finish it by pouring the lada sauce on the chicken roulette. Check if the plating was done properly and today's dish is complete. <laughs>